Hey everyone, today is flooring day. So Cody and I are gonna work together on um, the flooring in here and I wanted to show you a couple of things that we're doing and kind of explain the idea of what we're bringing together and how the final look of the house is gonna work. Nor the noise, our dogs have decided to wander in and out in the middle of making the video. So when the cabinets were going in, we had to put some flooring down, which I actually liked more. Um, so this is the flooring. We no longer can get this in the state. So we ended up having to go with a flooring that we can. So what we did is removed um, this to where you could see it. And now there's like a little quarter inch at the edge of the cabinets that will be seen. The area I'm standing in that it's still in, this becomes a concrete pad for the wood cook stove that actually goes into this kitchen. So if you've never put together some sort of vinyl or laminate flooring like this that snaps together, whether you get it at Home Depot or Lowe's, the thing to remember is you normally cannot snap these together, um, but it's the same brand and the same manufacturer so the lines are the same, so we're able to actually connect these. Um, but here's some of the steps that we're gonna go through. So Cody and I are gonna show you down here. When they did the drywall, they come through and they do some cleanup, but not all. So I come along first with a screwdriver, and what I look for are all of these staples. And you would not think that a staple that size makes a difference but truthfully in this laminate flooring or vinyl flooring it does so we come through we pull all of that out and then the next step I'm going to show you is we're going to lay down the plastic but before we do the plastic look snails are everywhere staples are everywhere little pieces of cardboard stuck to it or tape we're going to go through and we're going to sweep really well and then we are going to use the shop back we're going to clean it really well and then we're gonna lay out a six mil plastic. Totally unnecessary. Um, the reason we decided to end up putting the plastic down is when they were building the home, they did not have the roof on and it leaked. And these holes here go all the way through to the basement. And then because the flooring had gotten wet, even though we come along with a scraper, it's not perfectly level. Um, or flat the flooring is up. So what we have found is with that plastic, it has just enough give and it allows the flooring to kind of move on top of it. And we don't actually need to come through with like a floor sand or something like that. If you wanted to use this subflooring in the condition that's in, you need to have something underneath it. The flooring, otherwise you need to come in with a floor sander and get it perfectly level. Um, it is a floating floor, which means on the ends, there's uh, between a quarter and a half inch, depending on your flooring type. And then that allows the expand and contract with the freeze, the thaws, the different temperatures that we have here in Alaska. And what actually covers that is the trip. So when you see the edging of the floor, you see that there's a little gap that is actually supposed to be there. And then when the trimming goes in, you're never going to see it. The floor is super easy to get down and pick up. So Cody and I are going to do a bunch of flooring today. So join us, we'll show you what we get that.
Okay, so for sake of showing you how we do this, we just rolled it all out. Caleb, cool. And then Caleb and I are gonna come in and staple it in. And that for video's sake, we're gonna pretend that this was the beginning of a wall. Um, and then you come along. So Caleb, come down here, scoot it this way, and let's show them how we just kind of staple it periodically in. Okay, so we're gonna get the plastic as close as we can to the other flooring. Like we said, we already had to put all this in. So you're just gonna staple it down like so and keep working it smooth. Get the flooring in. We're gonna do that all along here, 25 foot that way. Um, and then we'll start laying the flooring. You will see that we laid this floor. The plumbing was supposed to already be installed. It is obviously not. Um, and the two do not line up perfectly. So Cody and I are actually going to remove the bathroom and continue tying it in with the rest of the house so that when the flooring flows into all of the bedrooms and the bathroom, it is a solid floor and there's no thresholds in it. Then the other project we're gonna grout today and then do the tile in Cody's bathroom. And then this bathroom is ready for the plumbing uh, and trip. And we are finished. So uh, come along this afternoon. I'm gonna show you how we actually snap this flooring together in probably one of the hardest areas that we're gonna put flooring in. So Cody and I will show you that in a bit. See ya. 